Guys, for the longest time, I've wanted to build an off-road Hellcat. So last time, we bought a 2017 bright green Hellcat, and we started doing exactly that. And the thing is, we made a lot of really, really good progress to the point we built an entire frame section to go underneath the car, bolted it to the car, got all that done. But we still have lots of stuff to do. And I don't know where we're gonna start, and I really don't know what we're doing today, but we're gonna just start working on it and see where we get. Hopefully we will not catch anything on fire in this video. Spoiler alert, we caught Wade on fire. Okay, here's the deal guys, right? We have to figure out how to make a Hellcat four wheel drive. And making a Hellcat four wheel drive is a lot harder. Hey, don't screw it in too far. You f <laughs> Anyway, as I was saying, we gotta figure out how to make a Hellcat four wheel drive. So we pulled out the old transmission and we have a turbo 400 sitting right there and an adapter and a clocking ring. And we got a transfer case out of a 1992 Chevy pickup, which you know will hold 700 horsepower because that's basically what they made back in the day. <laughs> Oh, also, while we were at it, this transfer case kind of screwed up my back and I slipped a disc in my back, so I kind of hobbled around like an old man at the moment. But we're going to see if we can put this transfer case onto that Turbo 400. Do we know if it's going to work? No. Are we still going to try it? Of course. I give it like a 60% chance it works. Oh, it's going to work because we don't have any other option. Or this <laughs> <laughs> oh, we got the right spine. I, I think that's just bottom. as far as she goes. No! Okay, grab a bandsaw. I think if we chop off an inch, it's still gonna give us enough engagement. Anyway, while we're doing this, this is a good time to tell you guys, we got new shirt designs on the website. So make sure you go to westlikescape.com and get your very own. Oh wait, I got more time. I could, I could rep more things. No, that's it. Nothing else worth buying. Just right next time, Mark. Did you catch that? I was, I was like, what's the heat coming up? Then I look up and there's like a flame that big. Damn, dude, you're smoking hot. God dang, that was pretty good. Oh, that's pretty good. I f a lot with that, that'll work. Okay, so you guys might be wondering what's happening here, right? Obviously, we gotta make a four-wheel drive. We're putting the different transmission in. We're putting the different transfer case. And the reason we're putting the transfer case is that way it can run power to that front axle. Uh, the problem is this is a car and it's not really designed for a transfer case or a big ass transmission for a four wheel drive to fit in it. So something has to compromise here. Now I have a feeling it's gonna be the foreboard. Now the problem is above this foreboard right here is where the driver puts his feet and the seat. So we might have to cut out enough of the foreboard that the seat doesn't fit anymore. Oh, damn. I am good. Does it fit like perfectly? Well, hey, here's the good news. The, tra the Turbo 400 fits magnificently. So the transmission is not an issue. The issue now is the transfer case. I got a lot of floorboard to chop out. That's what that is. Okay, we have marks. Now we need to get on the top of the car and figure out where these marks lay inside the car. Now it's time to start the really scary chopping. Because like everything else we've done to this car, technically we can put new subframes in it and back out on. Now we can't. It's our moment of truth right now, see? That piece of tape is the line of where we need to start cutting the floorboard out. And hopefully the seat is not in front. Ah! It's right underneath the front seat mount. I mean, maybe we could put like a race car seat in it. Dodge, in case you're watching and you want to make Hellcats four wheel drive, this section of floor is not needed. Alrighty here. As everyone knows, when you decide to cut a big ass hole in a Hellcat, this is the point. Can I get a battery that don't have electrical tape on it? Today's video is sponsored by eBay Motors. And the thing is, eBay Motors is an awesome platform to be able to find hard to find parts and accessories, especially when you're trying to build crazy stuff like this. Get out of the way of the crazy thing that we're building. But even when you're not building a crazy thing like an off-road Hellcat and you're just working on your own truck at home or want to customize it, eBay takes a lot of the worry away from that when they have eBay guaranteed fit, which means that anything that you buy underneath the guaranteed fit has the guarantee that it will fit on the vehicle that you're working on. 122 million parts and accessories on eBay Motors. Make sure you go check them out. We appreciate them sponsoring today's video. Well, let's get back to what we're doing. You got her done yet? How's it looking? All right, we're chopping, all right? Ready for this? Give her a kick down. Hello. <laughs> I'm here to contact you about your car's extended warranty. <laughs> <laughs> That's a whole new meme to put it through the floorboard. Oh, hey. Oh, there's a beverage. Thanks, dude. <laughs> That's good. I feel like that ought to fit. Oh my God, it's almost like all the way in there. Oh, holy cow, hold on. Man, look at that. 
willing to chop out half the car. Dude, and look, I'll be able to move my seat forwards and backwards and put in full drive. Hold on, I gotta put in full drive. The thing is, guys, there's a whole process to what we're doing here. And the reason why we're doing this and trying to mount this is because once we get this in its designated location, it's gonna stay there. It's not gonna move any. Then we can start figuring out where all the axles and everything like that are gonna go because we can figure out driveline angles and all that stuff. We need the drive shaft angle from this to that to be a good angle. But you know, if it was like that right now, it wouldn't be, but it will be once we get it done. See this? This is our suspension, it's done. Heard of a four link, but this is a six link. <laughs> That's right, six link suspension. So you guys might be wondering what in the fuck is going on right here, right? So we found where we want the axle to sit. So now we've just welded the axle to where we wanted to sit underneath the car. So now we just need to build four link stuff from all these brackets and all them brackets down there and all that up to the frame rails. And then we can unweld that, let it kind of do its thing and the four link should work. Oh yeah, also by the way, there's our new candidate for an uh, off-road Hellcat if this one goes good. That's gonna be an off-road demon. Hello Clyde, what do you think? Does this look like the right geometry to you? Yes, I thought, that's what I thought. Yes, you was a geometry dog. So. Here's the thing, right? I bought a bunch of four link universal kits to try to figure out how to put all this together. And I've got this one, which would work, except for the fact that <laughs> fuel tanks in the way. So we can't get rid of that. I think we chop off the top of this bitch. Well, here's what I'm thinking, right? We just put that right there. That's gonna give us a really nice angle for this upper piece. And that's gonna give us a good enough angle for this piece. Top bar has to be 70% of the bottom bar. The top bar has to be 70% of the bottom bar? Mm hmm You sure? Mm-hmm. You positive? Mm-hmm. You sure it's not the other way around? Mm-hmm. You positive? Mm-hmm. Well, f Okay, well, that's not good. If you're wondering if we know what we're doing, no, we have no clue. We've never done this before. But if you're wondering if we're gonna figure it out, eh, maybe. <laughs> okay. Guys, I think we figured this out after a lot of um, staring at it, maybe? Is the right word? So we got these four link brackets right here. So we're gonna do upper link bars to the top of the axle truss. And then we're gonna have a bottom bar that's gonna go right down there that'll hold the axle from sliding forward underneath the car. That way we don't need a pan hard bar or a track bar or anything like that because it's triangulated on the top. And it has plenty of articulation to go wherever it wants. Now all we have to do is cut a couple bars, tack weld that, take these bars out and see if this axle moves the right way and if everything works like we want it to. Oh, is this a new bar? This is the new bar. Do we do this right? Come on. Oh, hell yeah, boy. Look at that. Dude, that is sweet. 25% of the work is done. All we gotta do is put three more bars in here and then we can take out all the bars while holding the axle in. And this should allow everything to articulate and work right. Don't add extra tack to it, motherfucker. I'm getting sick of grinding that. <laughs> $2,000 suspension for my $2,000 truck. Ain't that right, Wade? What'd you say? I buy $2,000 suspension for my $2,000 truck. Are you really gonna buy that for your truck? Well, it's like $1,200. Oh, okay. Yeah. Can you not talk for a second so I can remember these no. numbers? No. <laughs> Guys, here's the thing. Things aren't really lining up like we want them to because like, I don't know if the geometry is actually gonna work out on this once we get it all said and done, but in the name of Dale Earnhardt himself, we're gonna do what he did. We're gonna send it until we can't send it no more. Let's just weld it on there and see what happens. That's pretty good. Yeah, I like that. I like that a lot. Sure. All right, let's grab another high and we'll put a, a joint in the bottom. Dude, we're getting so f***ing close. We're getting close. As in close, you mean like another two or three months. Yeah, but the rear suspension will be mostly done after this. All we gotta do is put shock hoops in it, shocks, hydraulic bump stops, brakes, drive shaft, and the back will be done. Hell yeah, boy. All right, let's drop it down. Let's cut all these bars out. I think I'll run this one. Hey, baby, how you been? It's been so long since I saw on something. This is the technique. He's really trying to use the unused force of the blade for extra sharpness. It's really gonna help him out in this competition. Make sure he really pulls ahead when he needs to. You can see the knee stabilizes in the zombie. That's a pro tip right there. Oh, God dang. This is the moment of truth. This is the moment to see if we actually built the suspension right. All right, both of you go up. You're losing, Logan. You better jack faster. All right, go, go ahead and lower the car. One more. More. Dude, that looks fucking sweet. All right, guys, here's the deal, right? We got the rear suspension finished. We got some of the front suspension done. We got the axle where it needs to be, but now it's to a point where we can set it down on the ground and roll it forward. 
it for the first time ever is going to sit on its own axles and roll. It's not done, but that's still a pretty big freaking accomplishment. All right, set it down. It wants to roll, you see it? Hold on, hold on. Go ahead. Oh shit. It's set on the lift so long, the freaking thing has got embodied into the bottom of the car. Oh. I turned into a dinosaur for a second. Dude, it looks so freaking sweet. All right, give her a pull. <laughs> Oh my God! It rolls. Some we built that. You know, this started off as a joke, but um, holy Hold on, let me back up. I really need to back up and get that appreciation of it. God damn, boy. You know, I was really scared it was gonna be way too big, but I think it's perfect. But the thing is, right? Looking at it from this angle, I almost think that we need bigger tires. Do we want to go ahead and put the twin turbo kit on it now or should we wait until we get